What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more free run. Today we're doing episodes 23 and 24. Very excited to continue where we left off. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions of these reactions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. We're also live on Twitch watching all the reactions these days. It's such a vibe watching this with you guys. So come on over, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Leave a follow. Come hang out. It's a great time. And if you don't mind, if you guys could follow me on all my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius, it'd be much appreciated. I'm not going to waste any more time. Free run, episode 23, called Conquering the Labyrinth. Let's do it. At the ruins of the king's tomb located in the northern lands. The king's tomb. Fair enough, when you put it like that. Please do. Right. Episode 23, Conquering the Labyrinth. I assume that's what the test is going to be. Ooh, very fantasy-like. I assume that's going to be enough of a challenge on its own. Oh, she'll be able to see firsthand. Interesting. So she truly does not want anyone to die or be injured, you know? I respect that. So there is a time limit as well. Okay. The King's Tomb. The music is so fantasy-like, I swear I'm playing Baldur's Gate half the time I'm, I'm watching the show. I wonder if Yubel is going to be able to empathize with Lan, get his magic. It's a fair point, even though a lot of people from our previous teams are still chilling with each other. Also a fair rebuttal. We could theoretically all pass if we work together. It would increase your chances overall of passing. Whereas I get what he's saying, especially because Dankin does seem to have a knowledge of these sort of dungeons, he could throw a wrench in the plan trying to get someone killed. But I kind of agree with Dankin. I think working together could be very useful. So it seems like these three are probably going to work together. Yeah. I assume Kane and Lavine can still work with us. Hopefully Fern's a part of our little group now. Free Run's one of the exceptions in my book that really doesn't need to work with anyone. This should be interesting. Especially with what Free Run did last test. Broken series, uh, barrier, you know? Oh, that is so much like a video game. It literally gives you the layout of the areas you've gone to. Imagine having that in real life. It'd be so, ah, I love magic. I can see that. Shout out Himmel. I mean, if you're strong enough and you're confident enough in yourself, dungeons are super cool. You never know what treasure you might find, what monsters you could defeat. He hasn't got to explore this whole floor yet. Fully agree as an avid dungeon explorer in games myself. Fully agree. Fully Love this man, man. I feel blessed anytime they're willing to show me a flashback of him. You never know what treasures may be hiding around. <laughs> She's hilarious. Free Rin so rarely smiles, but a lot of the times it's when she thinks back to her companions, you know. Still got Richter, Kane, Lavina. 
ミミックのような単純な罠にかかって足を引っ張るバカはいない。I know one それでいい idiot that would definitely fall for a mimic any minute now, so. この試験にいるものか。I like how they're saying that when there's someone in our party who's synonymous with falling for mimics. I won't lie, I fall for mimics all the time in whatever dungeon game I play. Here we go. Even Fern knows. Freerun is really hoping there's a grimoire on there on a 1% chance? I understand that, Freerun. <laughs> Come on. A little self awareness here would be great. Hey, she making that thing wiggle. Oh, I thought she was getting like fully swallowed. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. If Fern wasn't here, who knows how this would work out? <laughs> Sense is just like, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> that is hilarious. Are these gonna come alive and try to attack us or ask us a riddle? More like attack. Okay. Ooh, great defensive. Great offensive. How do you necessarily defeat gargoyles? Because they're, they're made out of stone. Also, great help from Richter. New mage, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, her magic, like, takes over and interludes with his magic attack. We know Laufen is very fast. Oh, hell. Oh, hell no. This is like a real deal dungeon trap. Animation is snapping right now. That was the music. I really like the design of Denkin's uh, staff. Oh, she has to get out already. That sucks. She did fail the test, but better that than dying. That golem is sick. Well, fuck is a marathon runner. This feels like a real deal dungeon, man. I don't know. I know it's super dangerous and you could easily die as an adventurer any moment, but I would love to be an adventurer just exploring these dungeons, man. Going to new areas, saving people, earning your own money, you know? And I know Sen said that she's not going to interfere or help at all, but I would love to see what a first-class mage can do, you know? She loves treasure. She was not only a natural talent as a child, but... She did train rigorously for years. That's also a valid point. She really does not seem to have a whole lot of ambition. That is true. It's a fair rebuttal. Shout out Hyter, man. Just having her happy makes Fern happy. But good friends, you know, that's what happens, you know. It's a great answer. Shout out, Fern. Yeah, we're not only getting through the dungeon, we're enjoying it. We're having a good time. Now, this looks like if you're playing a Souls like game, this looks like the area where you'd fight the main boss and get the main treasure, whether that's a legendary weapon. What in the hell was that? Yubel's here. Yubel land and who else? Yeah, as long as I can't see the body, then uh, they're not going to be able to constrain her. 
I still love the flower petals that turn. He can create flowers and then turn those petals into metal. Petal to the metal. Love it. It's like copies of themselves once you get to... Uh -huh. And they're not going to fight themselves, which is gener generally the smarter thing to do. Okay, I'm intrigued. Yup. Multiple people going against their clones. I love the way they animate that. A staff turned long enough to turn into a magic whip. Okay! You got the hand-to-hand -hand experience. Looking like Chun-Li with that fall. Great work. That's super interesting. Very true. Imagine it wasn't brown and looked like that, you know? That would make it way more intimidating if it was an exact copy. This is that inner chamber I was just talking about. Is that a clone of Freerin? <laughs> oh, that's a great way of putting how dangerous this is. It is a clone of Freerin. Holy shit. With the Dark Souls music coming on, this is the final boss right here. Don't end the episode. Do not end the episode. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm watching one more. It's a great thing about being a bum and waiting a week like me, you know? All right, this is episode 24. I'm still geeked after last one ended. I think this one's called Perfect Replica. Replica. Can't even speak English. You eggs. Sage heroics tales. Love the lore. I love that imagery. It's literally a perfect replica. Oh. Versus just the illusion magic. So it's the Einzem on a whole other level. No hesitation right into it. The attacks are just relentless. Sante, Sante, Sante. He would have a very valid opinion on what's going on. He is a cloning mage, magic specialist. That's crazy. He doesn't even have a way out if he wants to. He's forcefully going to have to fight. The great replica. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't. Who knows? That's a great answer. She has faith that she's going to pass and not need it. Are we going to get to see Yubel versus Yubel? Ooh, amazing animation. Yeah, and if it gets too close, you're not going to be able to see a uh, whole body in your POV. Oh, that's such a great shot. They're literally such a mirror. Yeah, that's me when any video game I play. I'm always unlucky. Oh, 
Oh, but now she has your whole body in view. Sorga nail. Ooh. Land. Came with the assistance. Ooh. Just, ooh, with a cut around the entire tunnel. Just a quick distraction she needed. Damn, he's a great cloner. He even cloned his bottle. This is interesting. This is interesting. This is what I would be worried about. She is getting closer and closer to you every time. The achievements. Yeah, how long ago was this king who made this tomb? I said it was from an old era. era. Unified dynasty era. Yeah, that's crazy. You know if Zens is telling us that, it's, he ain't lying. We actually found an archaeological discovery. Robin would be over here freaking out. You can hear their voices echoing off the walls. Great sound design. <laughs> we come to the door, they're like, yeah, we're kind of stuck. <laughs> I wonder if everyone will actually have a challenge. Now, are we going to work as a team to take it out, or is this going to be a solo free run endeavor? I'm curious. We need Verbell with a Sorganel. Okay, never mind. Methode. She's kind of, she's kind of, kind of pretty. She has to hug you to get a lot of information <laughs> on your magely characteristics. There's a lot of activation requirements for her magic. I like that. Lovely reflection in her eyes as well. Freerun is broken, man. She's OP. Edel, second class mage. She's purely supportive and utility, I see. This might be them. Edel, yeah. Is that a replica of, of Zens? How the hell do we get past this? Oh, hell no. This is why working as a team would have been beneficial, but... I do understand that. I would not want to die during this test. Wait three years, take it again. Even then, you'd have to make eye contact and speak with just that basic command. Assume, and that also has to assume it has a mind. Are they? Why are they acting like they're about to do this? So I'm not going to see the actual Proctor Zens in action, but we get to see the replica, which is which is kind of fair. The hair drills is so cool. It's trying to forcibly make its way through and slip through. Love the reflections. Oh. Oh. I hope she doesn't die. I would pop that bottle instantaneously.
These golems are crazy strong. Envelops you. Get you out of here. Shout out these golems. This is very interesting. How some of us are dealing with some of the replicas. That's the guy who went by himself. He looks depressed. It's like a mage battlefield. Yeah, we're back to verbal and their replicas. They have so many beautiful moments of animation in the show. Got a little opening right there. Okay, verbal. Implode the ceiling on her. That's the craziest line I've ever heard come out of Fern's mouth. I don't know why they're putting so much emphasis on the reflection in the pupils or in the eyes, but like it looks so good. These episodes were fantastic. I thoroughly enjoy dungeons in any video game, any fantasy media we're in. I like the twists on this one, how it's very much like a normal dungeon with the dungeon map, exploring new areas, hidden rooms, mimics, loots. There's a lot of the animation is going insane. Music is going insane. I love seeing the characters, their team up still, how they deal with certain threats. The replicas are a great threat to go against, especially as a team, because you can work together to defeat them. But you can also have certain matchups like uh, verbal and Sharf and array and all that. But I do love how the final boss is just a clone of Freerun. Like Freerun is the goat main character. She's also the goat villain. So, um, and Zen's it's like the hair magic is super strong. But well, like I said, so many aspects of this that I'm enjoying. I'm so butthurt. I have to wait a whole nother week to watch the next episode. Cannot wait to see more. I'm hoping we get there and pass. We've already gone down a few mages so far. We're probably going to go down a few more. But I'm curious to see test three because I don't think this is the final test. So once we continue going, I wonder if we're going to be able to finish the examination arc by the end of the season or how this is going to work out. But like I said, I'm loving it so far. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions. Come on over to the Twitch. Watch this live with us in the future. It's a great time vibing out with you guys in chat. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.